You know, you tell someone, okay, write Islam for me in Arabic. People who don't even know how to write Islam properly in Arabic, they are the ones who are defining Islam for us all today. They tell you, no, this is what Islam is, let me tell you what Islam is. You know, in a, in a, in a masjid in, in London, in a, in a Imam Barga, a person came and said, Maulana, you know the, not to me, but to another senior, very senior Maulana, he said, Maulana, you know the date you were saying about the Shahada of Imam Hassan? It's not correct. That's incorrect. I'll tell you the real date. He said, no, it's not. Uh, I've done a lot of research. He said, no, Maulana, I'm telling you, go and tell everyone else. He said, why are you so sure? Only a murderer would be so sure <laughs> what day he killed the Imam al You know why? People who haven't even read two books, they will come and give you the full definition. I'll tell you what Islam is. Hang on. Have you learned anything about Islam before you go and define Islam? You know, Taliban are so imposing in people who are extremists. I don't want to name any of the groups in London. You know them better than I do. You know. Because it's being recorded, especially it's going to be going on internet. It's going to cause a lot of problems for me. Because I live in London. So I don't want to be naming any of the groups, and I do travel a lot. You know, I've been to more than 30 countries, and you know, I face a lot of problems with a lot of immigration, a lot of these groups. They've been banned in Pakistan, they've been banned in, I don't know, Bangladesh now. Many other countries have banned them, even in, in India they're banned. But they're still not banned in, in, in the UK. Why? Probably the government wants that picture of Islam. You know, they want the extremists. Muslims to be the real picture of Islam. That's how they want to portray Muslims. You know that guy who's an Egyptian, he's, 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 he's gone now. He, he doesn't live in... Yeah, he used to call himself Umar al-Bakri, what a good name. <laughs> for a terrorist. You know, the perfect name for a terrorist. Umar al-Bakri. Never call him Muhammad Umar al-Bakri, just call him Umar al-Bakri. Yeah? Why would he only come on the, on the British media? You know, Channel 4, BBC would always bring him to represent the Muslims. He doesn't represent the Muslims. We need to be sure that we want to give the right picture. You know, in a Muslim country, if you wanted to ask or learn anything about Islam, you would refer to a scholar. In this country, each one of you is a, the preacher for Islam. You are all muballighin of Islam. When you go out, you are living the real picture of Islam. Islam is. They don't say Islam, they just look at Muslims and they say this is what Islam is. Okay? You need to live the perfect example. Imam Jafar Sadiq al Salaam says, Allah, Muhammad, Muhammad. He says, Kunu du'atan lil nase bi ghayri al sinatikum. Invite the people towards your religion, not with your tongues, with your actions. And in English, you know, there's a proverb that says, actions speak louder than words. The Imam al-Islam, 14 centuries ago, said it. He said, don't invite the people by your tongues. Everyone listening? Yes. Have you heard of someone called Yahya Khan? General Yahya Khan? Pakistani president. One of the first, you know, he, he brought the martial law in, the, in 1969, 68, 69. 68, probably. 69, yes. 1969, he was a martial law leader in Pakistan, he was the president of Pakistan. He went to China and he, you know, the communist leader in China, you know, the, the founders of the Chinese communist state, Chun Lai and, and Mao Zedong, you know. He was sitting with one of them and he was preaching in Islam. He said, I've heard that you always read Nahjul Balagha, Yahya Khan. Yahya Khan was allegedly a Shia, a drunken person, you know. A very unpracticing Muslim. So he kept preaching to uh, Chula. He kept saying, why don't you become a Muslim? You know, like on the, on the dinner table, they were eating. And he said, Islam is the best religion. Become a Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. After 20 minutes or half an hour, you know, when Chula got sick of him, he said, uh, Yahya Khan, just tell me one thing. There was a person, you know, translating, interpreting for him. He said, is drinking permissible in Islam? He said, no, it's haram. He said, then, I've been drinking because it's permissible in my religion. Why are you drinking for the past half an hour with me? If you don't practice yourself, then why preach to me? That is the biggest problem with the Muslims. Islam says one thing and the Muslims are something else. 
live up to Islam. You know, it's like if something Islam says, practice it. Islam says one thing and the Muslims do another. You know, the definition of uh, uh, a diplomat or a politician by Ju uh, Churchill. You all know Churchill, yes? Not the dog. <laughs> uh, I had to say that because these days, you know, the, the all the time. The British Prime Minister in the 1940s and Second World War. During the Second World War, you know, he was the person who had the British Second World War. Refused to sign the freedom of India and Pakistan. He said, I'll not sign the paper. So it was delayed till 1947 because of him. He said, I will not sign the paper that these countries can become free. Can you imagine? Anyway, he's a Western hero. You know what he said when they said to him, What is the definition of a politician? He said, A politician is one who says something, thinks something, and does something else. That's the best politician, you know. Look at the definition of a politician according to Churchill. He says, a politician. This is exactly the definition of a monarch or a hypocrite in the Holy Quran. You know, a hypocrite is someone who thinks something, says something, and does something else. That's a monarch. From this kind of politics, our Ayma kept away from. You know? Brothers, don't say something and do something else. That's Nafaq, that's munafiqah, that's hypocrisy. Islam says, do what you, you know, practice what you preach. Yes? Islam says one thing, you know, you, when someone asks you about Islam, you would always come out and say, this is what Islam is. But do you practice it? Do you live up to the, the title of being a Muslim? Unfortunately, a lot of the young people, they just want to enjoy, you know. Let's live up to be the best youth, you know, I want to be, I don't know, I don't want to even use the words. And then later on they realize that no, they've lived a life which was not up to the standard. I'm not talking about yourself, inshallah, you all are practicing. You need to take this out and take it to the other people. People are thirsty for the teachings of Ahlul Bayt Muslim. You need to give the true Islam to the, the, to the people. You know, people are thirsty and they want these teachings. Imam Ali ibn Musa says, Allah 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 Imran Ahya Amrana. Allah, may Allah have mercy on the, the person who revives our teachings. When a person said, Mawla, what are your teachings? Who revives your teachings? He said, Man ta'allama ulumana wa yu'allimu hannas The one who learns our sciences, our arts, our knowledge and teaches it to other people. Learn and teach to the other people. He says, Lo alaman nasu mahasana kalamina la tabauna If the people knew our words, our hadith, our teachings, our words, they would surely follow us. People don't know what the, the Imams have said. They don't know what the Holy Prophet has said, what Ali ibn Talib al-Islam has said. I know many people who just became